Hey guys, today we're going to make a color sorter in factory IO. So let's start it up. Uh, we're going to use a new scene. And for this project, uh, we use a lot of belts. We're going to use the six meters. And you can see the arrow, it should go to the left. You can see the direction of the belt with this arrow. We need a curved belt. And the direction of that, you can use the configuration and we want it to be counterclockwise. So the belt should go like this. Uh, let's add some two meter belts right here. And we want to sort it to three different belts. We want to sort these raw materials to three different belts. So we're just going to duplicate it like that. Okay. So how are we going to get the, these products to these conveyor belts? Uh, we're going to do that by a pusher. That's this one. Because without pusher, all the uh, parts are going to this curved belt and on this belt, so it, it won't sort. So we're going to use this pusher. Let's rotate it. Right here in the middle of the of this belt. And to sense the part, we're going to use a fission sensor. That's this one. Drag it in. And that that will be a good spot. So it, it floats for now, but that's okay. We can uh, we can make the design uh, later on this video so we want this belt to be the green the metal or the blue one so you can check uh, the fission and you can see at, uh, at what material you want the fission sensor to be high it's an input and it gets high when in this case uh, i want it to be high when a green raw material comes by Okay, so to, uh, to emit all the parts, we use an emitter, that is this one, and we're going to put it on the belt, like that. And we can also uh, tell how many time it should take per part, but this is uh, one seconds minimal and maximum two seconds, but that's that's okay because it's pretty fast uh, color sorter. So this this should work. Okay, uh, right now uh, we want to emit it. Um, not a palette, not a square palette, no boxes. We want the blue, green, and metal raw material. So right now nothing happens, it just emits but uh, nothing happens, so we first want all the belts to be turned on. And for that we're going to use the control I.O. Okay, so let's see the text, we are looking for all the configure belts, and we drag it into the window and we just want it to, to turn on so we're going to use a source and a bool and we just drag this bool this source to all the bools right here and now if we turn it on and we press play the belts should turn and check if it's all in a good position so now all the products just uh, have one, use one belt, but we want it to sort that the metal comes right here, the green right here, the blue right here. So this one should sense the green one, okay. So first let's sort the green raw parts. 
for that we use the pusher and we use the vision sensor one and we connect it so once the vision sensor sees the green uh, part it should get high and the pusher should yeah it, it should push let's test it out we have to wait for a green part yeah there it is okay so this doesn't work like we want it goes too soon back to its original position like you can see we want it to extend all the way and for that we need to use an OR gate an, uh, a set reset sorry uh, we find it at function blocks logical and we get the set reset and the reset will be the pusher one front limit so the vision sensor senses uh, the part um, the out the output will be high and the pusher will push and once it's at its full uh, extended position, we want it to go back. Uh, so we have another input, and that's pusher one front limit, and that resets the pusher when it's at its extended position. So this way, it should work like we want. So uh, yeah, let's let's test it out. Now we want to do the same with the blue part. For that we're going to uh, add another pusher. Let's put it on the same height, same position in front of the other belt. Just make sure this metal part is just above the belt. And right now we need another vision sensor. So let's drag that in there too. Right there. Okay. So now let's program the second part. Uh, we want the vision sensor to get high at a blue part. So we go to configuration and we can see and check the blue raw material okay so let's go back to our program and we now can see at our text another vision sensor 2 push it to front limit uh, we're going to get another set reset and we need to get the pusher 2 it's the same as this one, but then add the, the other parts. So the vision sensor goes to set, the pusher from limit to reset, and the outcome will go to pusher 2. So right now it should work for the blue and green, and all the parts that are left that go to uh, this curved conveyor, and that should only be the metal parts in this case. So let's try it out. So we can decorate it. We down. We now have uh, two floating vision sensors and two floating pushers. Um, 
in the real life uh, that is not possible so we're going to add some, some pillars you can do it like this copy paste copy paste Paste. Okay. Now let's do something about the floating sensors. We can add a pillar like this because like, we don't have other options to mount it. I think this is the best option. So let's add another pillar. like that and mount it with a column or two so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next episode let me know what you want me to make next on factory.io and maybe I make a tutorial about it <laughs>